Okay guys, this is the plane I told you I would show you. This is my uh, FPV plane, which stands for First Person View Video. Now what that is, is uh, basically uh, an RC plane mounted with a camera. Now this one, uh, well usually an FPV RC plane has the camera facing forward, um, but this one is down and to the left, kind of like uh, the pilot is looking down at uh, imaginary enemy positions. And that's kind of appropriate for this plane, because this is actually a model of the L-19 bird dog, which in uh, Korea actually spotted enemy positions for artillery. So it would find the enemy, and it'd call back to the artillery cannons, and it'd tell them where to fire. So, um, basically, it's a webcam, and it transmit, transmits back to a receiver right here uh, and I'd have that on the ground and that's plugged into a screen now I don't have the webcam plugged in right now so it's just static but um, basically have that going plugged into the car cigarette lighter port so there's that it powers that and uh, I might have uh, this thing plugged into one of these, it's like a uh, adapter for the car, but also uh, it has a little plug-in right there. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It depends on the voltage. You basically uh, turn, hit a switch, and then it powers that port over there. And then uh, plug this in, and then it plugs into this about right there. Um, so that's how that works. This is the 9 volt battery that powers the webcam. I'll show you, actually right now, I'll show you how that works. Okay. So basically I don't have this towel and windscreen taped down. So what it does, it just kind of slips off right there. And then I have, now I'm doing this one-handed and looking at the camera, so kind of fumbling around here. Okay, so it plugs in like this. Uh, and then it'll power the webcam and it's transmitting. Now, let me pause this. I'll plug it in and show you how it all works. Okay, it's plugged in and we're live. So this is now transmitting. Now what I can do, it takes some finagling, but I just slip this back on. I'm not going to do it because it takes two hands. It's kind of cumbersome, but it actually doesn't take too long. It's better than putting the battery back here and plugging it in and uh, and then putting the, the wings down. You have to screw them in like six different areas and that takes a while. So what I do is I sc screw the, the wings on first, then I take this off, plug in my battery, put it on, and I'm ready to go. Alright, so let's look over here. Oh, looks like it's not tuned in correctly, so let's tune it in. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, oh. Alright, wow, I can't really see that on the camera, but... Well, let's see. There we are. And that's the view from the plane. Again, I'm doing this one-handed. Alright, so I'm moving this around. Alright, let's see. Alright, can you see? Alright. There's my hand. Hello. It's working. Now, usually, a full FPV thing, if uh, someone, an RC guy, is really into it, he'll spend like up to $800 on a really good setup. Now, I spent only one hundred dollars on this fifty bucks for the little webcam and fifty dollars for that usually what they use is um, like uh, goggles um, you know strapped on those cost like two hundred fifty to three hundred dollars but uh... this is actually like a little what was it game power video system by vector so it has 
uh, speakers. In fact, I turned it down so the static wouldn't bother, but once it's tuned in, the sound is okay. Um, yeah, this actually has a built-in little microphone, and the video isn't bad, and the sound is pretty good, too. But anyways, anyways back to the, the cost. So usually uh, they have, like, a goggles attached to their head, and the problem with that is you can't see anything other than what the plane sees, so it can get kind of disoriented if you don't know where exactly where the, the field is or, you know, what the area looks like from the air initially. So, um, yeah, and then they have uh, cameras that transmit really long ranges. Now this has a built-in uh, transmitter right here. It doesn't have a lot of range, maybe a thousand feet, so you're not going to be going out of visual range. Some guys have, um, you know, transmitters that they plug in and they're like really high power. They boost them and have special antennas so that they can go out of visual, visual range, which I don't know if is legal or not, because at that point it kind of turns into a UAV, unmanned aerial, aerial vehicle. Maybe you need a permit for that, I don't know, but I really don't get into that. Uh, I just basically want to see what the ground looks like, so I would fly it conventionally from the, from the ground, bring it up to altitude, and then, you know, glance at the, the screen a little bit and have a little fun. And, uh, you know, that's, that's how I roll. So, the only problem is, uh, I don't really like using a 9-volt battery, you know, they're not rechargeable or anything. But what I do like about this plane, the engine is really overpowered, it's so light for the, the stock motor, I got the stock motor. In fact, this plane was given to me by a guy who wasn't really into electrics he kind of got tired of electric he really liked glowed better glow better glow engines um so it was really nice of him um but yeah because of the the wing loading is um so good on the lift and the the payload or the what am i talking about the you know bay is so large i can just put anything in there so i was able to screw it down in you know and instead of mounting it like on the wing and stuff, you know, that's what most guys do. They mount it on the top or the wing. Um, but then you get a lot of wind noise. If you've ever heard on, there's videos on YouTube of guys uh, who have recorded uh, FPV videos. Most of them, they're just, um, all you hear is the wind blowing. And some of them, they're smart enough to replace the sound with uh, with the song. But, um... Mine won't have that problem. You'll just hear the the motor and um, and the servos. That's what what's important with having. You want to have uh, sound enabled so you can hear what your motor is doing. You can tell if it's going down in power or not responding, or the servos are going crazy. You know, just to monitor. But um, that's what's cool about that. And the the front, of course, has a a bay perfectly suited for putting a nine volt battery in there. Plenty of space. There's the ESC. Uh, well, that's it for this plane, I guess. Uh, I can't wait to get this in the air and see how she flies. And that's my knee. All right. <clears throat> so, transmitter, receiver, all that, FPV, all kinds of fun. All right. So next video well I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next video. maybe a flight video 